How's it going everybody? Um, I wanted to show off this tool that I found recently. It was pretty useful for some stuff that I was working on. It is called Gallery DL. If you guys haven't previously watched me made a YouTube video on YouTube DL. YouTube DL is for downloading YouTube videos. And Gallery DL, it's pretty similar, but it works with a lot of other websites. Um, such as Instagram, Reddit, and a few other things like that. Um, so basically if you ever want to go onto an Instagram page and you want to be able to download all the videos, all the images from that page. Um, Gallery DL is probably one of the best tools to do it. And we're going to be getting it right here. It's, I think it's on the app repository or Snap and whatnot, but you can also just get it through pip. Um, it's easy to install. Just pip install Gallery DL. Um, just like that. Gallery DL. And I'm running it on pip3. And you should be able to get it um, maybe yeah, it's already satisfied. I already have it installed, of course, but it's pretty easy. You just use the gallery DL and let's just run it by itself and see what it asks you to do. Okay, and you can do help. And of course, you do help. It shows all the options. You can be able to um, just give it a URL. You can tell it what to look at. You can tell it what how many lines to look at. You can also, of course, some web, page, web pages that with gallery and pictures and stuff, they'll have individual pages you have to scroll through or if you're looking through a comic book or something you have to scroll through those comic book pages on the website so there's a way for you to look at all of those individually and download them individually but in this example we're just going to look at Instagram and Reddit so I have my Instagram page uh, feel free to follow it I don't really care actually but uh, yeah I have this and here's the PewDiePie's official subreddit so we're looking at these so be able to go in and just do gallery DL we can do range 1 to 5 and post the link in let's close that and it should work but while it's loading let me quickly talk about it some web pages will require you to log in and Instagram I think that's one of those pages um, looks like it installed already I've already logged in before but to log in it's just uh, you go to the beginning right here and you can just do dash u and you can put in your username and then dash p and you can type in your password like that and it should be able to save it I think it puts it in somewhere because there's also a configuration file that you can set up with your username and password for that specific account so it's pretty simple um, that's one way of doing it here's another way with a dash o command and but yeah it's pretty simple for that and as you can see, I ranged 1 through 5, so I went ahead and downloaded just 1 through 5. And it puts in a directory called Gallery DL. Then it says what website it's from, what the account is, or at least who knows that for Instagram, and it'll just drop the file in there. So if we were to get rid of the range option, I would actually be able to back up all of my images. And we'll just see, it's pretty quick um, for the most part, I would say, because um, it's quickly just connecting. But once it connects, I think it's able to get to all of them pretty instantly there it even checked and saw that I already had these downloaded so that's why those ones are grayed out and it's just downloading all my images like that uh, my page isn't too big it should stop anytime now um, actually I guess I do have some posts that have multiple photos in the same post so I guess that's why it's like that um, yeah because these probably have multiple photos with them so now let's look at PewDiePie subreddit of course there's a lot on here this thing's gonna go on forever basically um, so you want to make sure you kind of want to range and see what you want to look at. Um, you might ask, why would you want to do this? Um, one thing, the reason I was looking into it, just for a side project to look up and learn about it, was uh, let's say you want to make a YouTube channel that just creates compilation videos um, from, uh, I guess, like a subreddit like this one. So let's say you want to make a YouTube channel that's pulled all the videos from the subreddit and just put it into one single video. And you'll be able to easily do that just by using the gallery DL to download them all and let's just do range one to five just like we did before and this is going to go ahead and download the first five um, images but of course as I mentioned um, we want to make for this example let's only do it for videos so we can go ahead and do gallery dash K uppercase and post this in here and this is going to tell us some I guess it's like metadata or not metadata, but some sort of information from the website. And there's something in here that's going to basically say, oh, if it's an image or if it's a video or not. 
So it's going to be maybe different for different websites, so we can actually look for it. Of course, we want to look for MP4. I'm already tested this. There's not actually going to be an MP4 in here, but if we just search a vid, we're going to see that there is something on this page called vid. It's called is video. So we can do, I'll quickly show you again right here under help. And there's an option for filtering. If I can quickly find that filter filter you pass in an expression and the expression can be a Python expression it gives you some examples and it says you can find the file name specific ones listed by K which is what we just did so now let's it was is video I'm pretty sure but let's just quickly check that again and then we should be able to do this filter is video and then we can do range 1 through 5 and let's I don't know if that's copied still let's copy that in there and it should be able to work it's going to download hopefully the first five videos on the page see it's already downloading videos we know the first time we ran it it only downloaded um, photos because those were the top five ones but now it's got the type five videos it's as simple as that there's a lot of things you can use with gallery DL so I'm gonna have it linked in the description um, you can check out more about it it's just on this github page you can probably find some more information on there you can look through the help page it shows how to use all the commands um, one real quick thing that's a little bit unrelated but it's also useful see so it downloads all these things with a space um, sometimes maybe you don't want to have spaces in all your names um, this isn't a gallery DL command but it is something that I did with it I'm just going to copy and paste it and quickly explain it um, it's down here so find gallery DL so that's just going to find everything that is within the gallery DL directory because that's where we know we're saved everything um, and then we're looking for the names with a, a space in them basically because we know we have spaces in these names and we're seeing a while loop where we're going to replace these spaces with underscores using set and then we're just going to move the original files to the new files so we should be able to quickly run that and as you can see um, it did all of that I guess I echoed it um, just for testing but if we go to that echo there we should be able to look at gallery DL look at reddit and PewDiePie submissions as you can see all the spaces were replaced by the underscore so that's just something quick and simple um, so way of doing it in case you guys were wondering how to do that from the command line as well so thanks again for watching this video I hope it's useful if you guys are using gallery DL for anything that you guys like an interesting project or something you find cool feel free to share it in the description and once again if you guys are interested in downloading YouTube videos I made another video showing how to do that using YouTube DL so check that out as well see you guys again next time